heard what to expect during next month's total solar eclipse, but what effect will it have on the animals? Staff at the Oregon Zoo say they'll be watching closely when it goes dark during midday. Our own Dr. Doolittle, Tim Becker, spent some time talking to the animals <laughs> this morning up at the zoo. Well, you talk to the folks who watch over the animals, right, Tim? <laughs> yeah. I would have loved to talk to the animals. They were telling me with their eyes that they wanted to say something and they, they just couldn't speak English, so there's that. But yeah, you know, we're still going to see 99% of the sun get covered here at the zoo. So it will be interesting to see if you know, nocturnal animals like bats end up being more active during that time. And for that matter, the animals that uh, normally sleep at night, will they end up nodding off when it gets dark? You know, I haven't thought about it, but it's a really good question. Animal watchers like Katie and the Gibson family. Some of them, I would assume, would be a pretty short-lived nap. Aren't quite sure what to expect when the moon throws a dark cape across the sun smack dab in the middle of the morning. People get up early, they stay up late. Um, so I would think that some animals might be the same. I bet you the nocturnal animals probably come out. Truth is, will bats and owls actually come out during a two-minute eclipse? We don't know. Nobody knows for sure. Zoo director Don Moore tells me the sudden change brought on by the eclipse could very well stir up some out of the ordinary behavior, but nothing drastic. I don't think we're going to see any anxious behavior on the part of animals because, again, this is just a small wrinkle in the fabric of time and they've evolved over long time periods. Many animals are driven by the cycles of day and night. Elephants, for example, along with hippos, giraffes, and many others are most active during the day. Then you've got nighttime hunters like lions and owls and bats that spend much of their day simply idling. My background's in animal behavior, so I'm pretty excited to just watch what the animals do. I would think that the birds would get a lot quieter. We'll be collecting some data. We'll be watching our animals. I encourage people to watch their animals at home to see what animals actually do during the eclipse. So there you have it. You know, everybody's going to stampede to Madras and Lincoln City. Hey, why not avoid the crowds? Come to the zoo and watch the animals. Look up and watch the eclipse. You get a two for one. Back to you guys. Nice.